What's up, guys? My name is Ross, and today we have a 45-minute high-intensity weight and board class. You're going to need dumbbells, light to medium weight, and you're going to need your board, booties, water, towel. That's it. So we're going to get you started, warming up. I'm going to have you pick up those dumbbells right off the bat. Hold them right down here like a farmer's carry, right at your side. Core nice and tight, chest up, and we're going to march. Just straight up and down. We have 30 seconds here. Bring those knees nice and high. Feel that core activating. We have three moves in this warm-up. Going to slowly ramp them up, get that heart rate up, get you feeling nice and primed for what's to come. We have a lot of work today, 45 minutes. All right, in five seconds, we are going to switch to an inchworm. Give me three, two, one. Set those weights down. You're going to walk those hands all the way to the end. Hold the plank for a second and come right back. This is one of my favorite go-to warm-up exercises. It's not too much stress on the body early on, and it gets almost every muscle going. Wakes up the hamstrings, core, shoulders. Give me a couple more of these. We got five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to go straight into a nice deep body weight squat, just like that. Now, those are our three moves. We're going to go through that two more times. Third set, I'm going to change it a little bit, make it a little bit harder. But for now, just keep breathing. Try to stay nice and upright. Sit back in those hips. We got five more seconds. Give me three, two, one. Pick up those dumbbells. And let's march again. Hopefully these weights aren't too heavy because we're going to be doing some pretty dynamic moves with them. We're going to be getting them overhead, tossing them around your living room. So hopefully there's no dogs laying anywhere. You don't want to injure anybody. Keep this going for 10 more seconds. And then we're going back into those inchworms. Give me three two, one, and right back into it. Same thing. You can pick up the tempo a little bit, slowly ramping up that intensity as we go on, as we go through this warm-up. Feel your core a little bit as you get to the top. You should keep it tense all the way at the top. Great work. Give me one more of these, and then back into those body weight squats. And let's go. So important to take your time with some of these warm ups, especially when we're doing a tough class like we have today. Your body needs to be ready. Great job, guys. Give me a few more squats here. You have three, two, and one. All right, so leave those weights on the ground. This time, still knees up, but now we got a little high knees. Picking up the intensity. 30 seconds here. Drive those arms. Just like that, guys. Give me 10 more seconds here. You got three, two, and one. Back into these inchworms. This time, we have a push up at the bottom. Add a little bit to each move here. You guys should be feeling nice and warm by now. When we're at the top of this movement, squeeze the glutes out. Great job, guys. Give me one more. We got three, two, one. Back into these squats. This time, we finish with a high knee 
twist, just like that. Eyes on me for a second. Eat squat. We switch legs, get it up nice and high, and we rotate through the core. Last move here. Give me five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. That was our warm up. Grab a little water if you need. But we are going straight to these dumbbells. And we get a nice, easy dumbbell swing. Well, I guess it's not that easy. But it's not that complex. You guys are sitting back in the hips and using the momentum from the swing, from the hips, just like that. Give me five more seconds here. In three seconds, I'm gonna go to a push press. Two, one, let's get this overhead. Now this is not a strict press. We're using the lower body to get it up and over. Turn that music up if you haven't already. Intensity is up here. Give me five more seconds. Two and one. Hold these overhead. We're marching. Remember those marches from the warm up? Well, we just made them harder. Come straight up. Core is nice and tight here. Make sure your shoulders are stable at the top. Use your lats to keep that shoulder packed and down. In five seconds, we're gonna go to a snatch. Give me three, two, one. With one dumbbell here, line it up on the inside of your right foot. It's gonna bring ground to overhead. Alternating right to left on each move. We finish the top of the move, locking the hips, quads, squeezing everything out. Great work. Keep up the intensity. In 10 seconds, I'm gonna have you guys come onto your left sides and hold a side plank for 30 seconds, active recovery. Give me three, two, one. Set those weights down and come onto your left elbow and let's hold this plank for 30 seconds. So important to get a little bit of active recovery when we're doing explosive compound moves like this. You wanna keep the form near perfect for every single set. That's how we avoid injury. So keep holding this. Hips nice and high for five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, we're going back to those dumbbell swings. Eyes on me for a second. If you didn't quite get it on the first set, I'm showing you from the side here. This is a hinge at the hips and I am not using my arms to lift this weight. I'm using the power from the lower body. Those hips exploding through, that's what's bringing it up. In five seconds, we're going to that push press. Give me three, two, one, and let's keep moving. Great work. We're only, we're barely 10 minutes in, and I'm already working up a sweat you know it's gonna be a good one. Give me 10 more seconds here. Then we hold those weights overhead and march in three, two, one. Let's march. This is one of my favorite core and hip flexor exercises. And you get the added benefit of working that shoulder stability at the top. If this is too heavy, you can bring it down into a racked position. We're still engaging our core here. 
But you guys have 15 seconds left, so keep marching it out. That standing leg and hip is locked. In five seconds, go into that snatch. Two, one. Let's start with the left side. Come on up. Same movement as the first set. Doesn't get easier. It only gets harder from here. But if you guys need a rest, go ahead and take it. Just make sure to join me very soon. Grab your water, towel off. We got 10 more seconds. And then we're going to a side plank on the right side. I hope you guys are having fun, because I'm having fun here with you. In three seconds, coming down, one and right side plank. Keep breathing through this active recovery. We're working our core, we're staying tight, but we're not lazy between these sets. Big breath, exhale, try to get that heart rate down while maintaining this straight as an arrow side plank. Great job, guys. You got five more seconds here. Three, two, one, pop on up. And we got one more time through this circuit. And then we're jumping on the board. I know that's why you guys are here. That famous burn board everybody keeps talking about. I know it's helped me a lot in my recovery from knee injuries. It's just all around fantastic. All right, guys, 10 more seconds here. We got five, four, three, two, and one, push press, here we go. Same movements here, last time through. Way to go, guys. Keep this pace up for 10 more seconds. We got three, two, one, and hold it up. Last march of the day. I know you're tired of marching, but it is so good for you. As when we lock our hips through, that's called hip extension. And it's one of the most important movements the human body has. Keep this up for 10 seconds. We got three, two, and one. Last set of snatches. Come on up. Alternating through. Don't get lazy here. Don't kill yourself, because we got a lot left. But maintain this intensity. You only have 15 seconds left. Great job. I know you guys showed up to work today, and that's what we're doing. Three, two, and one. Let's hop down into a low plank now. Right, we did a side plank on each side. Now we got that low plank. Woo, that gets the heart rate up. Keep breathing. I know it's not that easy to catch your breath in this position, but do your best. If you gotta collapse for two seconds, go ahead and do it. But get back into this perfect plank here. You got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you guys made it through a hard, explosive part of this workout. And now, you get to grab a little water, put these booties on, and step onto the board. Let's go. So, first move here is just a tall slide. Hands on your hips, slide back and forth, find the rhythm here. Take a look at your feet, 
Make sure you're in the center of the board. And once you get a little comfortable, you can start swinging your arms with it, leaning back and forth. And when I, when I slide, I try to get into this nice, easy rhythm, almost like I'm dancing back and forth. Not a great dancer, but at least with this, I'm getting a good workout too. So we got 10 more seconds here. The first intense move of the board is a board burpee, which means we come to one side of the board. So let's go ahead, come to one side. We're going to slide our feet back into that tall plank position, come up and reach for the sky. That's it. We're doing this for 30 seconds. This one wears you out real quick. So take this first one at about 70%. And if that feels good, we'll ramp up the intensity for the next two sets. We're going through three of these. Awesome work, guys. We got five more seconds here. We got three, two, one, and we're coming on down to mountain climbers on this board. So we find the plank position at the end of the board again, and we bring our legs up and down, working the core. Same movement of these march, as the march we were doing earlier. We got hip flexors and core here. Give me 10 more seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Straight into skaters. So we lean forward, hands behind our back, and we go back and forth. Intensity is up. Get nice and low in that lower body. Keep this up for 15 more seconds, and then we got right back into that tall recovery slide. Keep working, guys. We got five, four, three, two, one, and let's recover. Woo, that was one. That was one time through. We got two more. I am really pushing you guys today because I know you can handle it. I also know that if you can't, you can just shut that TV off, but I know you're not gonna do that. Keep moving, recover here. If you need water, go ahead and grab it. We got 20 more seconds here. Bring that heart rate down. Keep breathing, find the rhythm. Okay guys, in five seconds, going back to those burpees. Three, two, and one. Straight into it. Woo! Now if this feels good, and you're crushing it, you ate your Wheaties this morning, then pick up the intensity. If not, you just find the pace that you're comfortable with, and keep moving. That's the important thing here. We showed up to move. Five more seconds, then we drop into those mountain climbers. Three, two, and one. Right into it. Now for some of you people that have abs like Adonis, this might actually be an active recovery for you. For me, I'm still working. This never gets easier. 10 seconds left. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Skaters, hinge at the hips, sit down nice and low, hands behind the back, and let's move. Intensity up. Now, if you notice, I just shut up for about 10 seconds because I'm making sure I'm nice and even in the middle of this board so I don't go flying off. You give me five, four, three, two, one. Tall slide. Woo! Now, you guys earn 
the right to do this tall slide. This is your recovery. This is your time to turn the music up, focus on that slide, and breathe. So I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to shut up. Okay, guys, 10 more seconds of this tall slide. We're going back into those burpees. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Last set here. Keep it moving. Once we get through these last couple of moves, we're popping off the board again. Keep this up for 10 more seconds. You got five, four, three, two, and one. And you keep working, mountain climbers. 30 seconds here. Keep breathing. You got 15 left. Okay, people, five, four, three, two, one. Stand on up. Last set of skaters. Let's go. Intensity up here. We get to recover for about a full minute in that tall slide after this. That's it. Keep moving. Keep breathing. You got 10 more seconds here. You got five, four, three, two, one. Tall slide, baby. You earned it. You earned that tall slide. Keep it moving. Recover here. You got 30 seconds of this tall slide. We keep moving. Power through. Ten more seconds here. We got five, four, three, two. And one, there we go. You guys made it through, in my opinion, the hardest part of this workout. Because now you're nice and warm. You get to take a sip of water. Keep breathing. I'm gonna grab those dumbbells again. Come on down behind the board. A nice kneeling position. Right knee is forward, left hand has the dumbbell. We're gonna press this dumbbell up and then come up to a forward lunge with a knee drive. That's the move. Press, forward lunge, and knee drive for 30 seconds here. Careful on that balance coming up. This is probably the most technical move we'll do today. So if this is too difficult, we're just going to press and step up into a regular lunge. But keep this going for five seconds. And we switch sides, left leg forward, right arm has the dumbbell. We press, forward lunge with a knee drive. There it is, guys. Now, if this is way too difficult to step up, you can put that dumbbell down and knee drive without the weight. But if you can handle that press and handle the weight 
on the forward lunge and stick with it, at least for the first two sets. Here we are, guys. Last one. Set that dumbbell down. We're going to come into a renegade row plank position here. So hands on the dumbbells, come into a high plank, and we're going to row these dumbbells, alternating left and right. Now, I'm trying to keep my hips from moving as much as possible. Imagine there's something on there, a cup of tea or something, and you can't let it spill. Keep this up for 10 seconds. We got three, two, and one. Wow, that doesn't, that doesn't feel too easy, but that's why we program it. Come on to your back here. We're gonna do some weighted sit-ups. Once again, if this is too heavy for you, just put it down and do some normal sit-ups. We're still working. That's it, guys. 10 seconds left. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Set that dumbbell down. We're going back into this kneeling press with a forward lunge. Weight in your left hand. Let's press it on up. And forward lunge with a knee drive. That's the move. Keep your intensity up here, but make sure we have this move down. I don't want anybody falling over. You got five more seconds here. Give me one more rep and switch it up. Opposite hand, right hand pressing. Step on up with that left leg. That's it. This move is simple, but sinister. We're not doing anything too crazy here, but we're working every muscle in the body. I'm sure you guys feel it too. Last one here. And let's pop on down into that renegade row. I know you were waiting for it. For you crazies out there, add a push-up in between. Try to get as many reps as you can here in the next 20 seconds. We got 10 seconds left. You guys are crushing it. Keep moving. Three, two, and one, weighted sit-ups. Once again, if it's too hard for you, drop that weight, but we're still moving. You guys got one more time through this brutal little circuit here. Keep, keep moving here with these sit-ups. I did as many sit-ups as I could when I was younger because I watched all the Rocky movies and that's all Rocky did when he was getting ready for his fights. So naturally, I followed suit. Give me five more seconds here. We got three, two, and one. Woo! Let's go, guys. Last set. Pick up that dumbbell on the left side. Try to get me five good reps here. That's one. That's two. Keep it nice and steady with that knee drive. Give me a couple more here before we switch. We got five seconds and switch sides guys. Last time through this movement this weight is getting heavy for me. Stay strong. You guys 
Don't have much left in this workout. Give me a couple more strong reps here. You got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Last set of Renegade Row, guys. Right into it. High plank position. Alternate that row. Keep that butt down. Try not to let it pop up. Last move here. Try to give me five on each side. You got 10 seconds. Couple more reps. Give me three, two, and one. Last time through these sit-ups. This is, this is crunch time here. We've got the last 10 minutes or so of hard work, and then you guys can go off and do whatever you please. Whew. 15 seconds here. Should I get a couple, a couple strong reps? Try to get five more here. Pick up the speed. Give me three, two, and one. All right. You don't need those weights for the next quick portion. We're going to go straight into some more core work. So pop right onto your back. We got 30 seconds of bicycles. So press that low back into the floor and bring elbow to opposite knee. We have three core moves for you here. Make sure not to rush through these. We want good, strong reps. Give me 10 more seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Next move here is my favorite core exercise. We call it the dead bug. So hands up, reach for the ceiling, bend those knees at 90 degrees, and our left arm comes down with the left leg, and then we alternate. Opposite arm comes all the way back to the floor above your head, and we fully extend that opposite leg. Eyes on me for a second if you don't have it. If this is too complicated, you can do some, some crunches, or if this is too much for the hip flexors, but keep this up for 10 more seconds. We got five, four, three, two, one. Last core move is a windshield wiper. We're gonna keep our hands nice and wide to our sides, bring those legs up to the sky, and we're gonna rock back and forth 30 seconds. This feels good on the lower back. If you can't keep your legs straight, then we're gonna bend at the knees. We're gonna keep moving. Plant those hands on the floor. 10 more seconds here. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, grab that dumbbell again. We have a couple more moves here on the floor before we go back to the board to finish. But we're gonna pick up one dumbbell, hold it below our chin, and we got some goblet squats. Nice and easy. We started this workout off in the warm up with some body weight squats. Now we add a dumbbell to it, making it a little bit harder. 15 seconds left. You guys are doing fantastic in this workout. Give me five more seconds, and then we're gonna drop this dumbbell and go into some squat jumps. Two, one, set that dumbbell down, hips back, and we jump off the floor. You guys can reset each one, or you can sit deep into that squat. Either way, if this is easier, and you can't handle that deep squat, 
then this is your choice. The point is, we're jumping off the ground for 10 more seconds. Give me three, two, one. Pop on down to the ground, and we have kick throughs. You're gonna come down into a tabletop position, hands planted firmly on the mat, on your floor. We're gonna bring that opposite leg through the body and fully extend. If this is too difficult, we can go straight into bird dogs. But if you can handle this movement, we got 15 more seconds. This is a great core and shoulder burner. Keep moving for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Right back into those goblet squats. Pick up the weight. Sit back in the hips. And let's squat. That's it. You guys got about seven, eight more minutes in this workout. We only have two times through these movements. And we're getting back on the board. Ten more seconds here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Let's jump. That's it. Whew. Intensity is up here. This is our last real hard set off the board. Take a look at me from the side. We got 10 more seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Kick throughs to end it on the floor. Let's go, guys. 30 seconds. You guys can get through this. If you've made it this far, you can definitely get through this. 10 more seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, guys. Towel off, grab a little water, and put those booties on. A few more movements, and you guys are home free. I'm letting you go. Booties on. Step onto that board. Make sure you're nice and balanced. Middle of the board, and let's tall slide. Catch that breath. This is the calm before the storm. 20 more seconds here. Keep breathing. Not much left. You guys are crushing it. I'm exhausted. I want to quit. But you guys are keeping me motivated. So hopefully I'm keeping you motivated. 10 more seconds here. Five seconds, we're gonna get on the left side of the board. Give me three, two, one. Left leg off the board, right leg on. We have a lateral lunge into a tall slide back and forth. Lateral lunge into a tall slide. So I actually have my back foot on the inside on the board. If you feel comfortable with that movement, it makes it an easier transition into the slide. If you don't feel stable though, take that foot off the board. We got one more time through this, one more lateral lunge, tall slide back and forth, end up on the right side of the board, and we got 30 seconds here. Lateral lunge to slide. We can pick up the intensity a little bit here. We're really working our groin, our glutes. The lower body is going to be torched from this workout. Give me five more seconds. 
Three, two, one. Come on with the one side of the board. We got a sprinter back and forth into a tall slide, just like that. Sprinter, tall slide. This is it. This is the move for the next 30 seconds. Then we got one more time through those lateral lunges. Find the rhythm to it. Get that drive from the arms. You got 10 seconds. You got five, four, three, two, one. Back into that lateral lunge. Get nice and deep in the lunge. Tall slide back and forth. You guys got the movement. Now just listen to that music and hold on for the last couple minutes here. You're almost done. 10 more seconds, then we switch sides. We got five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side. Lunge in the tall slide, baby. That's it. We are almost done. I feel the booty working here. 10 more seconds here. Got five, four, three, two, one. Into those sprinters. Tall slide. That's it. Intensity up for this last move here. Hard sprinter. Back and forth. Okay, guys. Now we got 10 more seconds with this right here, and then you're gonna give me 30 seconds hard with these sprinters. In five seconds, we're going hard. Give me a tall slide, a couple tall slides in a row, and let's finish strong. Let's go sprinters for 30 seconds, guys. We got this. Last push, last push. Get power from that drive. We got 10 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, guys. Take those booties off. Grab some water if you need it. We have a little cool down for you. And that is it. I can't believe I got through the workout. About halfway through, I was thinking about quitting. You guys kept me going. Bring this hand up, these hands up nice and tall. Give me a stretch left to right. Feel those lats opening up as we bend from side to side. Hold it one second here. Come on down a little further. Same thing, other side. Whew. Exhale, come up. Give me some some hip circles here, just a few in each direction. You know, sometimes when I slide, my lower back gets a little tight, so I always try to relieve some of that tension towards the end of the workout. Switch sides if you haven't already. Nice, guys. Bring your hands to your side. We're gonna slowly roll down here, vertebrae by vertebrae, shaking the arms out. You can roll back and forth. Bring your hands down as, as close to the ground as you can. We're gonna walk these hamstrings out. Feel that stretch back and forth. Feel your lower back loosening up. Slowly roll back up to center. Spread your feet nice and wide. And we're just going to do a quick rocking groin stretch back and forth. 
If you're new to the board, this groin is probably going to be the most sore spot tomorrow. If you're an expert on the board, you still might feel a little sore. I always feel sore after a, a hard workout like this because as we get in better shape, we start pushing harder and harder. So our body is always going to be adapting to whatever stresses we put on it. Nice, guys. Come on up to center. That is it for the day. That's all I have for you. Go ahead and take a recovery class. You might need it after this. Hydrate, and I will see you next time. Have a good one, guys.